as you guys can see, I have a lot of tackle, and um, I think it's finally time that I rearrange all this stuff because like I don't know if I can I don't know if I can live with this any longer. So um, let's see what we can do. Hey guys, I hope I hope the lighting looks all right. Um, I'm just gonna see if what tackle I can organize. I got a bunch of random stuff laying around, and I'm gonna show you guys how I organize my tackle. All right, so first off, we gotta get all the main boxes organized. Um, I already got some labeled. This one actually is just kind of miscellaneous. This is kind of for salt water. I got them all labeled, so. Well, I don't see where any are. Well, we got one right here. All right, so this is the first one. We got crankbaits here. Obviously, you can see it's it's not only crankbaits. Uh, it's a bunch of other stuff, too. We're gonna get to this box. This is the first box that we need, so um, we'll leave that here for now. Let's find the other boxes. Oh, oh, oh. What do we got here? Oh, we got rooster tails. Oh my gosh. It's funny how I had a box only for rooster tails and look what it came to. This, kind of just soft plastics. Don't really have a name for this. Oh, my bin. I forgot my bin. Here it is. Where are the boxes? Where are the freaking boxes? Okay guys, so I've run into a bit of an issue. Um, I usually have boxes labeled um, for what I have in the box, and right now I cannot seem to find them. So either we're gonna have to do a little bit more searching, or I'm gonna have to put some new labels on. All right, so for now, this is what we got. We got the crankbait box, we got these miscellaneous soft plastics, and we got the rooster tails, which, be honest guys i really don't use rooster tails that much anymore only on specific occasions let's organize okay so the first one we're going to start off with is crankbaits um so so far i have only mostly crankbaits in here i'm just going to take out all the other stuff that isn't crankbaits all right so everything that is not a crankbait is taken out so this isn't all the crankbaits i have this is just what's in here right now i'm gonna go find my other crankbaits box but right now what we got here uh, I don't know what these are. I actually got these online. They're in like a little pack. A few of them in there. This is from an MTB a little while ago in a winter box. It's a Weston. Pretty expensive little crankbait. I believe I have two of them. don't know where the other one is. It's a huge crankbait. I'm not sure what this is. A little red eye shad. Lip uh, I got a, and I got a baby bluegill crankbait. I might do a video fishing with these little mini crankbaits. And uh, a strike king here. Let's find the other crankbaits. Hmm, if I was a crankbait, where would I be? Oh, hello there. Oh my gosh. All right, well, technically this is a crankbait. Um, I kind of was a crankbait. You guys remember from my last video, little Florida State crankbait. FSU is trash this year, but you know, we're not gonna talk about that. What do you got here? Some little jerk baits and such. Okay, okay. No crankbaits, this is all saltwater stuff, little extra apps. What we got in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we got some crankbait worthy stuff. Here we got the uh, Lucky John Vicara. Uh, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, I got this in an MTB a few months ago. It's a nice little bait, a little lipless crankbait. Pretty design on him. Put that in here. Uh, any more crankbaits? All right, yeah. So here we got a Bill Lewis rattle trap. Uh, Love these things. Don't get a lot of chances to use them. They can go in the lipless. And here we got basically Cotton Cordell's version of a rattle trap. Uh, so we'll throw that in there also. There's a little lipless box right here. We got two nice shads. Uh, the Lucky John Vaccara, the rattle trap by Bill Lewis, and the Cotton Cordell rattle trap. I think I might be missing a few more baits. Uh, I'm gonna look at all these little bags, see if I can find any other crankbaits. I got some bags and everything laying around here. I'm just a complete mess. Uh, I'm, I tend to organize my tackle and I just completely forget about it. Uh, like I got tons of stuff in the, oh my gosh. My life is a mess. I can barely even, I can't even maintain my tackle. It's just all over the place. This is what fishing does to you. Look at this. But um, yeah. Oh, I just kicked that. Oh my gosh. So, uh, see if we can find any actual crankbaits. Yeah, this bag is... I don't see any crankbaits. I know I have one more, uh, I have another KB 1.5, I believe. I have no idea where it is, to be honest.
Alright guys, so here's my completed crankbait box so far. Um, I do have a few more to put in, but um, until we find those, we are going to move on to the topwater box. I'm just going to use this one right here, since it already kind of has some topwaters in it. Um, I do have a few saltwater lures in here. Um, yeah, this is just kind of... <laughs> Just kind of how I keep my stuff. I mean, as you can see, I'm, I'm very organized in this room, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna actually just put all the sp saltwater specific jerk baits into this little box right here since I don't have too many of them. And then I'm gonna keep all the bass top waters in here and I have some more top waters that I need to get from over there. So, um, stay tuned. When I tell you this is a pain, it's a freaking pain. Okay, so I've came up with a little organization skill tip thingy um, I'm gonna put all the poppers in this right here so I got a little uh, got a rebel pop R I believe baby bass color and uh, two other off-brand poppers which I don't know what these are called but um they're decent um, actually I think I got them at Bass Pro they might have been in the bin I need to change the hooks out on those here's a little uh, dog, dog walking lure um, yeah, all this is little saltwater crappie jigs and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna leave these in here. I do have another salt. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more saltwater fishing uh, in the coming videos. But yeah. Okay, so this box is kind of cleared out. I'm gonna go find some other top waters. Let's see what back. All right, here we go. There we go. This is what I'm looking for right here. We got uh, some assorted top water, some rats. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. All right guys, so this is a top water box, so I am gonna include frogs. Another top waters I have are these two rats. Uh, I think this might be the Savage Gear rat. Actually, I'm not even sure. These honestly both look like Savage Gears. But uh, yeah, we got, got those rats in the box. Old frogs that I have. Here's a Booyah Pad Crasher Jr. It's a little one. Uh, we're gonna put all the frogs in this one right here because this is the main uh, compartment and I have mostly frogs. Uh, I'm not gonna put soft plastic frogs in here because I have so many of them like if I were to take all these out of the package I probably couldn't fit all of them in uh, and I have a bunch of other frogs and stuff So I'm basically just gonna put hollow body frogs in here uh, Here's another random one. I don't know what this is uh, Oh, and this one's pretty interesting It's actually the lunker hunt pocket frog. It's a mini little frog. I think I have another one of these too I'm not sure where it is, but look at that tiny little thing Honestly, whatever you catch on this is going to get, it's going to inhale it. There's the uh, KBD Sexy Frog. You can hear that little rattle. Uh, we'll put that in this section right here. Well, we found one more thing. We found a little, uh, another little Pad Crasher Jr. here. One more froggy for the top water. Now, I normally would have a lot more top waters, but snake heads, as you guys know, they just completely destroy your frogs. And I've probably lost about like, I don't know, definitely hundreds of dollars in frogs, only from snakeheads. So there's really nothing I can do about that. Half of the frogs are all torn up and I can't use them. So gotta buy new ones. And let's move on to the next thing, which I think, I'm just gonna organize my soft plastics because that's the main thing. Alrighty, so we got the uh, crankbait box here. We got the uh, top water box. Still have a few more to add to this, but for now, this is what we're gonna leave it at. And then, right now, I'm gonna work on this. On the main thing, all of these soft plastics that absolutely plague my room. I mean, guys, I have so many soft plastics, it's not even funny. And, and I need to organize them, so. Let's get working with that. I already have some soft plastic organized in here. Uh, in this box right here. I got I got some lizards, little worms. I'm just gonna put all the things I already have into these little categories. We got flukes right here. This little minnow bait. Um, so yeah, so everything that's in bags, I'm gonna leave in bags. These right here, these are by a company called Annihilator Lures. Haven't got the chance to use them a lot. Uh, I have tried them out off camera and they do break kind of easily, but they're all right. Uh, go check them out. Annihilator Lures on Instagram. Organize. 
to your little thing right here. I'm taking out all the gambler easy swimmers. Because I want these in a separate thing for swim baits. Yeah. Gotta get all the hooks too because I'm gonna also have my terminal tackle organized as well. Alright, for the soft plastics, I'm actually gonna organize them uh, in bags within bags. So we got all we got some top water frogs, soft plastics in bags here. And then I'm gonna put these all in this bag. So I'm gonna have I'll put all the top water frogs in this bag right here. Alright, so I think I got most of the frogs in here. Uh, couple different brands put these in the uh, finished pile and uh, get to the rest of this stuff all right so you guys can see I have all these soft plastics in a box and I really don't want to do that because like honestly who puts soft plastics in a box like it just doesn't make sense so I'm also gonna put some of these in bags as well so we're gonna start off with the lizards and I'll see you when I finish doing that all right so I think we got all the lizards in this little thing right here uh, I'm gonna go ahead add that to the file and next we're working on worms all right so I'm gonna go ahead and dedicate this plastic bag to worms and uh, I already have a lot of worms in bags like these are if you guys remember these Ned rigs from one of my other videos uh, got some white Xena finesse worms uh, big bite bait finesse worms. These things right here are pretty good. Um, I got a ton of other little worms in here. And I got some worms over here. Okay, guys. These right here. Let me tell you about these. I can honestly say that this is my favorite worm of all time. It's kind of faded right now, but it's the Zoom finesse worm. I don't know why my hand is shaking. Look at that. Alright, that's weird. They're just a perfect all-around bait. These always produce... Make sure to pick these up if you haven't already. Great tape. I'm even gonna throw some little U-tails in there. I really don't like to use these, but um, I have some just in case I ever wanna whip them out and I feel like the bite's tough with any other worms. And I believe I have some other Ultra Vive Speed Worms, like this one right here. Um, this one is honestly sick. I actually wanna try using these, uh, but I have a bunch of these laying around and I'm gonna need some more plastic bags, so I'll be back with some more Ziplocs. All right guys, so I stocked up on some Ziplocs. Um, and I also found another great bait that you can use uh, year round actually. It's the, uh, the good old gummy worm. I uh, have great success on these. They're great to, uh, um, to eat. And uh, you can catch a lot of fish in these, so do not sleep. Uh, I recommend trolley. Um, the extra scent always helps though. So make sure you get the sour ones, because if you don't get the sour ones, the fish won't bite, promise me. Um, I almost forgot. Got the trick worms all over here. I'm gonna organize all these trick worms and yeah. Ooh, that took a while, but we finally got all of my trick worms corralled into one little bag. Look at this. I mean, we got worms on worms on grubs. On, anyways, we got our worms and we put these in here. And I think all we have to do, I got a few more speed worms, and then next is the flukes. So I think I've got pretty much all my worms in here. Uh, although the next bait I'm gonna move on to is something that I don't really use a lot, but for some reason I have a ton of, and that is the fluke. I have tons of flukes. I have super flukes, I have the regular flukes. There's a pack of super flukes. Here's a, another pack of regular flukes. I mean, I have a lot of flukes and I do not even really like to use them. Uh, I think the biggest fish I ever caught on a fluke was a four pound largemouth. Um, but besides that, I really don't use them on a daily basis, but somehow I have a bunch of them. And either way, we need to organize them because I know that there's gonna come a time where I'm gonna need flukes. So let's do that. Uh, shad colored fluke. Uh, suit, zoom super fluke. These are the regular flukes. You can see they're a little bit different because they're not as fat um, compared to a regular fluke. You can see how the difference is. Um, this one a little bit fuzz. Uh, this one's a little bit more skinny, uh, lower profile. Uh, this one's a little bit bigger, but uh, to me, this one has better action. Not gonna lie, guys, I don't really like using flukes personally, but this fluke right here is pretty 
freaking sexy. I mean, look at that. It's baby bass doing original flute uh, in going in the back. The flutes are going in. And there it is. There's. Oh my god. Jeez, they drop right back out. Either way, there are all my soft plastics. Actually, this is just my worms and flukes. Next, next thing we got, the biggest thing in my arsenal, and that is swim baits. Now, some of you guys know I love fishing swim baits. Uh, swim baits are actually my favorite bait to fish. Uh, I have tons of them. I mean, honestly, there's swim baits laying around everywhere, and it's for a good reason because swim baits are they're what have caught most of my big fish um i mean from everything to and basically every species in freshwater um that i fish for it goes for swim baits so i've caught big peacocks on them big bass uh, i've even caught some decent snake heads on them Alrighty, so it looks like I've got most of my swim baits organized. Uh, I still have a few more that I don't have in there. Um, and also I have some that are tied on to rods right now, but this is mainly what I got. So that will be the swim bait box. All right, and last but not least guys, we have the terminal tackle. Now you guys can see that this is pretty messed up. Um, literally there's no organization here at all right now. Uh, I got plenty more stuff over here and here that I have to organize. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna get working on that and then we'll call it a video. I'm basically just gonna dump all this stuff out on the freaking bed and oh, it really pains me to do it. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna organize all my hooks, uh, hooks, jig heads, basically, yeah, anything with the hook, spare treble hooks, um, anything with the hook, what am I saying? Any hooks, any hooks that are by themselves, I'm gonna organize in this bin right here. And uh, it just gives me a better way to get what I need faster. So here, got some little uh, screw lock hooks, uh, some other big swim bait hooks. A lot of these also have little weights on them. And there you have it guys. Um, I think I'm finally done organizing at least most of my tackle. Um, got my soft plastics and most of my hard baits already organized, so. Um, basically, this is just how I organize my tag. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll have another fishing video coming out soon. Um, it's actually really action-packed. Me and my brother had a great time. I'm not going to spoil it for you. You're just going to have to stay tuned, and um, see you next video. So, that bass and out.